Hope oh, not for good to do Thank you. I would like to thank uh, <clears throat> all of the panel here for all of the wonderful words that were shared with you this morning and today. It's really important to uh, recognize how we speak and how we say things, uh, not just being witty about important issues, because the wind is hearing you. The, the message that you're putting into the wind, it carries a very long way. It touches hearts. So when we think about talking about important issues, we really put it front and center that the words we are saying are not words that have taught us or have been instilled in us through colonization. Words like uh, dehumanization, domination. Those are words that conjure up a whole different way of looking at what's happening in the world today. Um, I think that when children are being killed on mass, or you have uh, a war going on just a few miles to the south, it makes you wonder about what people are really thinking. It makes you wonder if those people have grandmothers and grandfathers. It makes you wonder about your own background and where you come from. Because if you reach in the back of yourself and you bring that forward, there are ways in, in guiding principles. There are laws that your people had before we arrived here today. So I just would like to caution you when you, when you make those words uh, to really mean what you're saying. In that moment that you're having these important, important thoughts, because what you're putting out there is affecting everything. So. With that, I would like to take this time to say to you, all of you, thank you so much for coming and spending your day with us. And I would take this opportunity to say to my sisters, uh, Aneta and to Rebecca and to um, oh yes, to, to our own Christiane that's sitting over there. Uh, to Joti, to Mindahi, to my girl here. I, I love this girl. She's, she's a very good native representative out there in the world. She has the knowledge, she has the education. And look at her, she's beautiful to look at too. <laughs> We're really proud. We're really proud of her. And my brothers, Korkindi, Randy, and my newest sister, Anya. And there are Cardinal uh, Anders Arbrilius, uh, Bishop Kamara, and, and the Sami people in here, a uh, sister that just left here, I don't know where she went, Helene, yeah, Helene. I'd like to take this time to thank each and every one of you for all of your work. This is really hard to do. It, it really is getting people to come and listen to what we're talking about. Basically, we're, we're a good show of continuity. We're going to tell you the same thing over and over and over. And it's not simple because we have to live it every day. But at the same time, you take that and apply what you can use from it, make it count. Because we travel many, many hours to sit here with you, enjoy your presence, and to share your time and space. Because it's hard to do, too, when coming into your community. And it isn't that we know everything, but we do know something. And that is, we love this world, we love everything in it, we love all, each and every one of you, and the people that you represent. And so today, from the bottom of all of our hearts, as a grandmother, I say thank you. Thank you very much.